really sure if I, if I want to be a model. What are you saying, Fluttershy? Come, we will make the magics. Hello. Thanks for joining me once again for another Pixie Talks toy vlog. Pixie Talks, Pixie Talks, reviews and vlogs at Pixie Talks. Alrighty. Being that I have but one month to cover this go around, I have much, much fewer items to talk about. So let's just dive right in, shall we? We're gonna go over some Monster High, some My Little Pony, and some other stuff to boot. First up is a new Funko Pop figure. I've been awaiting the Princess Bubblegum Funko Pop figure to show up in my stores for a while now, and oh my gosh, she's cool. I think what I love the most about this figure is her hair. She's got this really neat long hair that kind of fans out at the bottom. Her look is really unique and totally stands out in my Funko Pop collection. I'm not sure why the Adventure Time Funko Pop figures have mouths when the rest of them don't, though. That makes her a bit of an oddity next to the rest of them. She is super cute, though. Next up, we have one of the new Monster High Freaky Fusion dolls, Sirena Von Boo. I really want the centaur as well, but Sirena was my first choice because, oh gosh, I love mermaids. Now this doll is absolutely gorgeous, but there are a few things that could have been done better. First of all, I seriously wasn't a fan of the weird hairstyle she originally came with, so I actually completely restyled her hair. But mostly I was disappointed that there is absolutely no articulation in the tail. It's perma-sculpted into this kind of half-sitting position, but she can't really sit very well because she can't bend very far at the waist. As a result, she's a bit hard to display, although she can stand on her tail because a tail fin splays out. She is beautiful though, make no mistake. I love how eerily gorgeous she is and her facial sculpt is beautiful. Next up is a brand new series of dolls from La La Loopsie. La La Loopsie's main line is a series of large chibi dolls aimed at toddlers, but they have now recently also started making fashion dolls. The main line is adorable, but way too big for me, though I have loved the minis, as you will recall. These, however, are absolutely perfect, and in my opinion, probably the neatest product they've yet released. So of course, I had to get two of them. This is Mittens Fluff and Stuff and BA Spells a Lot. Mittens was my first pick because I love her cute wintry theme and adorable kitty hat. BA on the other hand is a red-headed nerd so I couldn't pass her up either. They have probably the most unique body sculpt I've ever seen with cute little blob feet and hands wonderfully reminiscent of the old-fashioned rag dolls that their look is based on. Their facial sculpts are absolutely gorgeous, adorable and glamorous all at once. Each doll also comes with a cute little plastic bow hair clip, which you can clip into your own hair. This is kind of a neat little touch. Their hair also changes color in cold water. The effect is subtle, and it doesn't last very long, but it does work, which is pretty neat and I think will be really fun for the kids. If I'd had you girls a week ago, you could have done the ice bucket challenge with me. It's a seriously cute new line, and I highly recommend checking them out. And lastly, My Little Pony. I picked up the Photo Finish Pony. This is probably one of the coolest brushables that Hasbro has yet released. Now, on close inspection, this isn't exactly the same outfit that she appears in in the show, and she didn't have the black streaks in her hair either. However, she does still look pretty flippin' awesome. But probably the best part of this pony is her aperture cutie mark. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. And lastly, I am super excited by this new line of pony plushes that has started showing up. These are by 4th Dimension Entertainment and are the most show accurate pony plushes on the market yet. Not counting fan made plushes of course. This looks 100% like the character from the show and I am so impressed. 
She's soft and squishy and the best pony plush I own. Now, if only I could find a Fluttershy. All righty, well, that's all that's new this month. Coming up soon in the world of toys, I am super excited by the new line of Thor Funko Pop figures, particularly Lady Sif. Box Trolls toys are looking incredible, as is the movie itself, oh my gosh. And of course, you may have heard of this new series of Equestria Girls dolls that are actually show accurate? What? Well, thank you for watching my toy vlog. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next month for more toys, and later this week will be a Marvel review. So, please be sure to subscribe. You can also add me on Facebook and Twitter, and I'll see you then. Bye!